a regular meeting of the Niles Main District Library Board of Trustees to order at about 7 p.m. on Wednesday, December 13th. Karen? Yes? Carolyn? Here. Dennis? Here. Debbie? Here. Diane? Here. 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 To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to start off by recognizing the very few cookies on the table. And, oh, thank uh, you. Very good coffee. for the coffee thank and the cookies. It's really a very nice treat. And, uh, so, anyway, hey, um, do I have a motion to approve the minutes of a regular board meeting of November 15, 2017? So, motion. Second. Okay, are there any corrections or comments regarding the minutes? Um, okay. okay, then I'll, I'll take the roll call. Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Dennis? Yep. Diane? Yeah. Yes. 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 All right, fine. Thank you. Is anyone registered for public comments? Um, and if you would please check. I'm so excited to make changes to the rooms. Congratulations. Change for you. Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Merkula. Mr. Merkula, would you like to uh, address the board? Oh wait, excuse me. There is one sentence. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. You know, I highlighted all the stuff because I was interested, but then I found a sentence. It, it's on page six. I apologize. It's under Friends of the Library, where you're quoting what I said. Um, I didn't say the second sentence. I listened to the tape, and it's just not there. The friends were provided with information regarding the taxes they will owe on the money earned prior to 2015. It was not in my statement, but everything else was. So you're saying that you said Ms. Durbuck reported the front held in a Roman Bunker meeting where discussion was held on the taxes. Is that what you're saying? You said? I'm saying I said everything but that particular sentence. Regarding taxes? Is the sentence you're talking about? No, the friends were provided with information. Oh, okay. Yeah. Regarding taxes. Yes, I did not. That wasn't in the conversation in my comments at all. So you said the friends. You, you did. What you're saying is that you did not say the friends were provided with information regarding the taxes that they were on money earned prior to 2015. Is yes. That correct. Yes. Okay. So uh, we did have a movement in the second. Or, no. I'm fine with it. Okay. So the information was correct. I just don't remember who said what, but. Yeah, oh, well, I see what you're saying. So um, it, it was, was yes, it was said. It was said. I don't know if it was I didn't hear it on the said. tape at all from anyone else's comments either. So um, you may want to check that. Well, we know we, they got the information because during the it doesn't matter. I didn't say it. So no. if you want to take it out, put it somewhere else. That's fine. Okay, if you don't mind, I just want to make my statement as accurate as you possibly will agree. Well, did someone else say it, perhaps? No, actually, it's not on that statement. That sentence is not on the tape. But if you want to check the tape and add something else. Well, I understood that Rich Bushnitska provided the, uh, the members of the Friends with information. Um, I didn't mention any of that. No one else well, mentioned I heard it name. on the tape. Okay, well, you can check because I listened to it. I know Spadoni has some comments at the end about questioning um, my sentence, not specifically including something that he talked about, but it wasn't that. Um, all right. Well, all right, Carolyn, I understand you say that you did not say it, and so she recalls someone saying it. So well, I think, think we amended to say uh, it was mentioned that the friends, so it would not uh, it would not attribute the statement to you. Just take it out of her her little just make a new paragraph. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's cool. Just make me. a new paragraph. And then that's what that that's cool. Uh, Carolyn said that. Okay. All right, does the movement and the seconder agree with that? 
Yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, we probably should have a motion to amend that. All right. Uh, can we just take that roll call again to approve the minutes as so amended? I got from various documents, libraries, publishers, freedom of information. This first comes from the uh, budget narrative. It's automatic renewals of checked out material has increased our circulation figures. When I did a freedom of information to find out how many automatic renewals there were, I find out there's no report that shows the number of automatic renewals in the library director gave me that. Overdue borrowings are automatically renewed as an additional borrowing, causing fake numbers of real borrowings. Okay, in 2017, it looks like the actual uh, local borrowings for 11 months, 658,000 original borrowings. Renewals, 393,424. So your renewals are 38% of your borrowings. Okay. In, in fact, the, the figures show that there's more renewals on some items than there are original borrowings. You have to go, go through the uh, information. Is that correct? I imagine that it's certainly possible because people are allowed to renew as many as three or four times. Yeah. Right. There's some items that show sure. so it could happen double like, and triple. Right. right. Mm -hmm. One of them would be one of my books. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> well, well, what's Sorry. happening is you're not collecting God knows how many dollars in fines, and we, maybe we didn't need a tax increase. So if we come up with this actual 717000 these are original borrowings, not renewals, and you have a $7 million budget, it's costing you nine seventy five. dollars for borrowing, so somehow you need to get your costs down. You're, you're not running this like a good business. 38% of the borrowings are renewables, re-renewables, or automatic renewals. We're back to page one again. So I, I think somehow we, it, it doesn't. If you don't have figures on how many how many are re-renewed, I mean, don't you have IT people that can figure that out? Last time I asked you, you told me it's 5%, but how do you know? I don't recall saying anything about 5%. When I first mentioned this, you said it's a real low number. I, I don't believe I did. I don't have any recollection of that, and that's not true, so I wouldn't Somewhere it's it. up here. Right. Okay. But we need to have that information. And, and you have how many, three or four IT people? Can't you, can't you put that into your program so we can find out what's going on? If you don't know what's going on, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know which direction to go. Okay, all right. Um, that's it for the um, registered um, sign up. Uh, yeah, yeah. to. Um, yes, yes, uh -huh. um, Last month, uh, I think it was Stephen Yassel mentioned that uh, the board needs to put forth more effort into communicating to the friends. And I, and I just wanted to say, uh, we have one a trustee who's goes to every single meeting is uh, dedicated to the friends every month. Uh, I've been going uh, since June or May last year, and our door is always open to them. You know, I don't know what else we as a board can do. Uh, you know, let our friends come to the, these meetings. So I just wanted to uh, to say that that it seems rather insulting to Carol to say that, you know, we don't, uh, we're not putting forth an effort to be more communicated. You're at every single meeting, so I don't know what else anybody could possibly want us to do. Well, so truthfully, I just, as a board, I'm probably on one side of the fence and everybody's on another. I still think this money situation caused a rift. Well, so I'm we sure. somehow have to 
build that bridge. I don't know what it is, but I think it was clear even at even at their meeting if there's some hostility, so we just need to get there. Yeah, I, I know, but it seemed to me But I don't was, feel that it's reflection upon well, me at all. It sounded like no. it was, so I was I'm, de I'm defending you here. Right. No, right. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate okay. whatever you can do to smooth things over, Carol. You know, to the extent you go there, we appreciate that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, that, that's my um, All right, the next item on the agenda is the Treasurer's Report. Tim? All right, so this month uh, is pretty boring, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Right? We like boring when it comes to you got it. Uh, financials. Uh, so it's the fifth month, November is the fifth month, we're 44.44% of the way through our fiscal budget. Uh, revenues are exactly on budget, so that's looking great. Salaries are continued to be, on, on page nine is uh, what I'm referencing at this point. Salaries are under budget by uh, 67,300. Uh, I didn't note anything, uh, of, uh, nothing of note that I saw on page nine. Page 10. Uh, library materials, similar to last month in that they were, uh, it's, it's, uh, they're over budget, but probably they're going to even up at the end of the year. Um, materials are primarily due to yearly payments for online databases. Uh, operating expenses, uh, overall the category is well under budget. You might note that on the internet charges, there's actually a negative figure, which means we got money rather than paying it out. And this is due to the uh, refund of the from the E-rate program uh, that pays for uh, they gave us money back for the uh, internet charges. Cool. So a great big thank you goes out to the staff for uh, continuing to follow up on that and to uh, uh, apply that refund to our uh, our, uh, our budget. That would be great. That would be great if you could do that for everyone. Right yeah. All right, uh, page 11, uh, overall category is well under budget. Really, there's nothing, again, I know some of the smaller ones are, are outside of 44%, but they're fairly small numbers. Uh, page 11, uh, the employee fringe benefits uh, reflects the $532,000 that we made the one-time payment to the Illinois Municipal Fund which the board approved at the November meeting. So that's why the deferred compensation is, uh, you know, so high. We didn't make that yet, did we? Was that of course we did. I thought it was in December. Uh, yeah, it was in uh, right at the end of November. Yeah, November. It has to be made before December 31st. Oh, that's right. It is December. Okay, sorry. Never mind. I don't know where I am. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> and audit and liability insurances are over budget, but that was, there's, uh, there are, Expenditures are not spread over the long period. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. And page 13, yeah. uh, all the items are under budget except workers' compensation, but that's also due to its being payment of a one time payment, not over the long <coughs> And there's one item to note, and that's it for, for our, our uh, financial uh, uh, sheets here. But I do have to. Uh, I not have to, but I'm going to let everybody know there was a, a note that we had. Um, last month, um, we printed our checks through uh, using a new check stack. And there was an issue with the new check stack in that the printer didn't print the library's account numbers on the bottom of the checks. Oh, even though the proofs that everybody signed off on did have the account number. Uh, the, re the stack was reprinted with the account number, so yeah, and we ran all the, re the new checks on the new stack, so that's great. Uh, and some of the vendors were able to check the deposit checks. Some of them returned them to us for replacement. Unfortunately, Visa returned their check, which resulted in finance charges being assessed. However, we're going to ding or go back to the uh, uh, vendor uh, Blackboard uh, that printed the checks to recover that money. So it's a, it's a zero. Awesome. It's a zero effect to us. Good. Can you just call Visa and they won't? I, I didn't even try because um, we have had charges reversed before, and someday again we might need to have charges reversed. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's not going to spend our capital on that. Don't burn that bridge. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the cost for Black Blood to print checks on a monthly basis is $3,000. 
what they do. So, uh, 14. Uh, Blackboard is a uh, is a software service. It's an uh, SaaS uh, that we buy. It's up in the cloud. Uh, we do our accounting on a monthly basis. We have several products. We have a fixed asset tracking product. We have an accounts payable product. And we have a general ledger product. And uh, we uh, we see various charges for the uh, software renewals. Okay. Yeah, no, that's okay. I, I just so heard that's like what, and I, I, I was assuming it was like a printing fee. So that's yeah. an, okay. Uh, that more than likely is an annual fee. I'm sure we have the box of uh, invoices here somewhere that, if you're interested, you may look at it. No, I'm, I'm okay with it. I saw, you know, a running total of like nineteen thousand, and, uh, and if I'm looking at it. well, now that running total is, you know, that's all these charges. That's not blackboard. That's all these charges up to that point. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's that's how that works. Okay. And so that's you have to go to the that's list. just uh that's a so they just charge for that for that month is is like three thousand dollars or is it that's for a total? That's for a year. That's for a year. Okay, okay. and it's a portion of our software renewal. Okay. Are there any other questions on the treasurer's report? I had. Two questions, and I can't find the second one. I thought I saw a line item for the um, passport agency, and I thought there was an expense of two thousand dollars, but I can't find it. Can someone tell me where that might be? Is there a line for the passport agency? There's, there's not an expense line. Uh, there is a revenue line. Oh, there I did that again. Okay, yeah. so it's in revenue. There is a difference. Oh, we we're got two thousand. That's page nine. No, uh, <laughs> we've not received anything yet. Uh, that's the budget amount. Right. So what is that? Expected revenue. Right. Expected revenue. Right. Oh, it's budget. So see that okay. it's, it's blank, Carolyn. All right, thank you. Okay, I thought we bought print. Yeah. I'm in the. All right, thank you. And then my other question was for the trustees line item. I see. What page are you on, Carol? Oh, sorry, page eleven, two ninety for the. I think it's for this month, or is it November? It's November. Is it's that for travel, or, or did people go to conferences or something? Uh, uh, I bought some books. Oh, is that what that is? I bought some books, and then that probably also includes the chamber holiday party. Mm -hmm. that five people attended. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, who's that for you? Is that the information about it? it, it the chamber uh, it has an annual holiday party, and it's um, one of the things the trustees had agreed could be spent out of the trustee line was going to chamber events. So. Was it the holiday party or the golf outing? No, it was the holiday party. Oh, I didn't know about that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was it the holiday party? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for operating expenses of $197,150.50, special IMRF payment of $532,000, and payroll expenses of $281,978.06, and special reserve expenses of $1,805.67 for a total monthly expense of $1,000,000. $12,935.03. Motion. Second. Did I hear a second? Second. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions? Well, I do have a comment about this that we discussed it last month, and people who vote against paying these bills are, in a sense, voting to, uh, to, 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 to shut the library down because uh, we will be paying our payroll, payroll and we will be paying our uh, liability. But if your intent is to further a discussion on the budget, then I would rather trustees make a motion to discuss the budget, not, not pay our bills. Uh, you know, I'm not that subtle of a person. I need people to just say, let's have a, a discussion on this, and let's do this. So you know, that was kind of a, I didn't realize that was the thought behind not paying our bills, is to do our budget. Anyway. It's, if, if you're voting not to pay our bills, then you are voting to shut the library down. Sure and simple. Okay, and I will reply again like I did at the last meeting. I cannot approve these bills when I disapprove of the budget process, which created all of these expenses. Sure, well then you should make a motion. And to, no, to, I, to and I struggled through the budget process. I was denied any data, any information, so we just shot through another budget, and we increased it a million dollars. I cannot approve this spending. Then you want to shut the library down? Actually, we should have closed the door and had a meeting until we came to well, an we, agreement we, not to spend okay. this much money. But we did not. So right, so forward, I cannot approve so, the spending of these bills. So moving forward, you want to shut the library down? You know, if that's how you look at it, then well, go right ahead. Like know, I said, we'll, shut the we'll never shut the library down because the five of you would not cease paying well, you know, bills that are out of control. Well, okay, please, fine. if you want to, we can discuss it. Sure. Anyway, just pointing that out. And I am implying again like I did last month. Again, um, sure. Sorry. again, just to restate that once a decision is made, we should stand as a unified board with the decisions that are made. And that is according to the LMI Public Library Trustees policies. So we should stand as a unified board, even if we disagree with the vote. We are a unified board. I'm not here to be That's unified with saying. the board. I'm here to represent the taxpayers. And so on. So, so well, apparently we disagree on how to do that, so that unity may not be possible. And that's your opinion, and that's against the Illinois Public Trustee. What, what, what right. You want it right there in this one? You want to your last month. You got it. It's like an ILA thing. It is stated in here in the pin. If you want to know the page, I can mark. Let's see. I think the Illinois state statutes would um, <laughs> supersede the ILA's publication. I don't think they conflict in that way, though. They absolutely do. I really do not know. We've already changed a lot of statutes. See where that conflict is. All right, well, I didn't want to broaden right. it. Well, I was okay. commenting about the payment of it. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you made a recommendation that rather than saying well, no, we should we should uh, make a motion. What I'm saying is separate these issues. If you vote against paying the bills, you are voting to shut the library. Now, in my opinion, you're voting to shut the library down because if we don't pay these bills, if you don't pay payroll, all these fine staff members are just going to walk out the door like anybody else would. So we're going to shut the library down if you don't pay these. If what you're trying to do is discuss budget items, well then do that. Don't, you know, don't I, muck it up between I, these I two. I have to say that we are in the middle of roll call, so. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. You're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, absolutely. Uh, well, I, 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 I asked the yeah. yeah. question because I was going to make the uh, motion, but here, okay. I, 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 we're in the middle of a motion right, now. So right. We're in the middle, we're in the middle okay. of a roll call. So, uh, so uh, 
I'll, I'll say yes. Okay. Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Chen? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, next thing on our agenda is the director's report. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I led uh, the director's report with very late breaking news. I had to bump everything around, but we uh, were named again a Star Library fourth year. And I think that that is something that the board should be very proud of. It means that we have budgeted sufficiently. Uh, and supported the work of the library so that we are truly one of the best libraries in Illinois. And I think you should also be proud of the fact that we're in a category that ranges from $5 million to $10 million, and even being at the low okay. end of that range, we still are a star library. Right. We're, so, we're going to find that information on the library, library journal. Um, we're a $7 million dollar library, aren't we? Which is between 5 and 10 So it's right. not low. So, well, yeah, what we're, she's we're saying is we're well. not, we're not, you know, nine we're not at the top. Of so, sources, but I, close. yeah, I was very uh, pleased to see that out of all the libraries in, in, in the state. And I was wondering, are you know, are we going to do some kind of press release about that or something, um, just to yes. note that fact? I don't know how interested the newspapers will be, but I think it's it's worth noting. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, the categories that we're with are other libraries that I respect, such as the Carnegie Library. I mean. They're a very large library and um, do a great job, and uh, so I was trying to be in the kids or some of the other libraries that were cited. Yeah, no, I think you should be. I think it's a, it's a great thing. They do they base it on um, the number of visits, the circulation, the electronic circulation, public computer use, and program attendance. So those but, are the things that are some of our numbers are, are off in circulation. So. But you know, it's apple to app, apples to apples. We are. We are calculating things the way other libraries calculate things. Some of the other libraries have gone completely fine free in this category, which of course is going to raise their circulation even more. Yeah, I know, so. but it's still false. False. Why do you mean it's Well, because you're, you're communicating that your circulation is a million something, and it's not really. It's, you've had, you're saying that so many people are now coming to our library. And, and I know there's a lot of people coming to the library but it's 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 uh, it's it's not the same, you know. It's just like if you go to a, a hot dog stand and you order, you know, you, you, uh, ten people come in and they order three hot dogs per, you know, you're, you're not thirty, you know, there's not thirty people coming. It's it's ten people coming in that order three hot dogs. And that is how our visits are calculated. We don't count anything extra on the visits. And it's online circulation. And so, so, so you're saying so that you're saying a million that shouldn't count that. Um, I, I, I think so because you're you're giving the impression, you're giving, you're, it's it's a it's a sin of omission. Uh, you're you're saying that our circulation is a million something, and people are well, under the impression that like that's it. a lot of numbers. Otherwise, what, what's the difference than just report the seven? 700 or 600 or whatever. Well, because I'm going to do what everybody does. I'm going to do what the state so statistics tell me to do. I am instructed to put a number in that sure. is that number. And then in our new computer system, I'm not going to have any choice on that. And the board voted for to do this. I mean, it, I did not just pull this out of the air. The board was fine with doing it because it's a great patron service. Uh, it, which are truly the automatic is, renewals. The automatic renewals. And well, I, I, think, just, I, think I have to argue with I'm you about. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying you're misrepresenting. We're not well, saying a million people have gone through the doors. Right. That's what you're saying. Number. You're saying it's that the circulation is here when it's not. Well, it's well, it's well, just how you define it. I define circulation is for a particular period of time. If somebody checks it out again for the next period of time, that's another well, circulation. I, I think it's a productivity gain because because now you, that you no longer have people coming and putting stuff back on the shelves, we should have eliminated some hours for doing that service. So so we well, went from here and we have a circulation of a million, and, and you're saying we saved all that time and and. People used to have to take that book in, check it in, and then put it back on the shelf. Now we save that by doing automatic renewal. No, so no. by doing that, it's a productivity gain, and we should have lowered it. And I'm sure Greg might have some comments on that. 
Yeah. Before, they would pick up the phone, they would call the switchboard, they would say, will you please renew this sure. book for me? That is how it was working before, so it did take more staff time. You are correct about that. It does free up a little bit of staff time, which is a good thing. I, I, I agree. So usually when you're freeing up that staff time, you, you look across and say, hey, you know what? I no longer have this amount of time that I need people to work against. So we have reduced the number of staff hours. Remember the statistics that Greg gave you a couple of months ago? We have reduced the staff hours. Yeah, you, you know, the, the, the statistics that we get out of this place uh, really uh, don't meet what I would like to see. That's okay. It's, it's, it's not, you're everybody's here not to, to, to please them. Uh, but I think that, you know, uh, well, I'll just leave it there. I, I think you're wrong in, in presenting uh, that the circulation is, is such and such a number. And, uh, you know, we'll have to agree uh, to disagree. So what's the definition of circulation? Yours is different than what? Well, I think there's an accuracy issue here. I, I well, think what's the definition? Yes. Of circulation? I, I, I don't know. I, I, if this I, is standard practice for all the other libraries in the state of Illinois, why should we do something totally different to screw our numbers and make them lower than anybody you know, else? It doesn't make it practice? right. The, 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 the libraries are out there to make jobs out there for, you know, just like... I, don't, I would okay. totally disagree with that. I, 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 I don't. Can, I'm sorry, can we go back to, is let's, I would, like, I would like to hear the definition of circulation that you want to hear. Well, if yes. you cannot state it, then you can't complain about how somebody else is doing it. Either we do it this way or we do it a different way. What is the way you want it done? Never mind. Dennis, no. I make this Never mind. I'm, I'm asking no. this a serious I, question. And, and I'm, I'm asking, let's just talk it. Well, then why could you bring it up? Okay, excuse me, I'd like to... No, 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 I, I, I asked no, a question. Well, I don't want you to argue and fight with I'm him. I'm not arguing. So, so this, is, this, is, this, is, this is what goes on in a lot of the prior meetings. And, and, and I asked politely, I asked politely to drop it. And, and, and now I have somebody that's coming back constantly picking, picking, picking. I'm not picking, I'm asking a simple question. No. You, you have stated that you don't like the way we're calculating circulation. And I'm asking you what, how you'd like it to be done. It's simple. I, I think what you're doing is you're you're inflating you're 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 inflating what's happening at the library by saying that our circulation is a million something. You're 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 giving the impression that there's this increase of people coming to check things out. How would you like it done? I, I I'm. I, this is, she, she works here, she owns the process. Greg works here. He, both of those guys. Well, we as a board can decide they're doing how we what want we to Right now, we can state exactly what that is so the perception is not wrong. It is not the perception that people are coming into the library and it's a million people coming in. It is what it actually is. It is the items that are circulated, and it could be that one item is circulated three or four times for one person. That is the truth. It's on video now. Mm -hmm. And, and that is the way it. it is. And we're doing it without, if it's not on hold for someone else, then it is given back to that person if they haven't returned it yet. So that's what it is. Right. It's transparent. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Can and I just make a comment, please? I've been waiting. Um, I think the issue is that we feel there's a discrepancy. Um, I guess it's fine if you take out a book and you don't return it and you renew it three or four times, but then it should, some report that's generated shouldn't reflect the fact that more than one person, for example, took that book out when it is only one person. Let me explain something else. Based on that number, a library then sets up its finances based on what it costs to generate all that. We're talking about salaries, we're talking about all sorts of you know, whatever mater resource materials are necessary. So numbers need to be accurate. And he is correct in saying that this is distorted. What the answer is, I don't know right now, but it certainly is something we should look into. And because everybody else is doing something, doesn't give us the right to do something inaccurately. Okay, so I don't think there's uh, anything inaccurate about it. This is the way well, we can look into it. Right, Carolyn, this is the way statistics have been kept for uh, I don't know how long, forever in libraries. This is how all libraries do it. It makes sense, and I think most people understand 
When an item is circulated, that means it's taken out for a discrete period of time. And if it's taken out again and again, those are two more circulations. And there, there's nothing wrong with keeping statistics in that fashion. That's the way it's been done, and I think we understand what that means. Yes? And I would just have to um, say that I don't really believe that that's how our, our staff is selected either based on circulation. Our staff is chosen, and you guys can correct me, but it's by the floors that we happen to have, because we have so many floors. It's the hours that were open, and this programming that we have. I, I mean, it's yeah. not based on our circulation. On well, how many... It's part of it. Everything you do is... Has it has to be point. such a small piece of the whole big pie, I mean, is what I'm thinking. Well, I'm not really... Honestly, yes, we should review it. But that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So, all right. That, that's... All right. Can we go on to the director's report then? Well, sure. Um, I just so, wanted congratulations anyway. Thank you. I think it's awesome. Do we get a, do we get a sign or something? Do we get a uh, well, flag? Well, we, there's a flag or downstairs for last year, so we could get another flag. <laughs> I mean, I'd like one of those, like, little... Uh, can we get some banners saying that? Yeah. Sure. It's on our van. Yeah, that's true. Been yeah, yeah I mean, that would be nice to have those as our banners or something, you know. Yeah, I'm sure we could. How much do the banners cost? On page 33. Surely would look nice. Huh? Surely would look nice. Did okay. you say 33? Yes, yes. Thank you. On page 33, uh, I just wanted to point out to you that Cindy, the assistant director who is handling our our uh, circulation migration project, which is a huge, huge project, um, did a really nice explanation here of what exactly is going on, I thought. And so if you have a chance, you might read through that. Um, the migra actual migration is going to take place in April, so they're spending a great deal of time now, a team working on setting up, planning the classes to teach the staff all of the new software. And as I said before, this is our first full migration in like, uh, I don't know, 15 years or something. So it's, huge. it's a very substantial thing to do. So we will be moving, we'll, there will be a new catalog, and we'll be happy to introduce that to you a little bit later on. And you, can you know, I would really like to learn more about this because I, I did read this, but I'm not sure I absorbed everything okay. what this means. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, if we could have more discussion about that uh, later, meeting, I think that would be okay. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. Right. Okay. Terrific. Thank you. Because that, that is, it is an enormous project that is taking a great deal of staff time. So you should just be aware that that's going on. Um, we did finally get all set up to start the passport uh, service. So we have had a soft launch on that this week. So far we have given out one passport. <laughs> so a very soft process, a uh, soft rollout. Um, but, you know, we wanted to get it started slowly, um, and then they are planning on doing a big push about mid-January once we've had a chance to get through a few and see how that is going. So we won't start actually advertising it till mid-January, but we are already on the State Department's website, and so we already are getting calls and uh, and have done our first passport. So where does a person physically go in the library? To um, they go, go first to the info desk, which is in, yeah, in the lobby, and somebody there looks through their documents, makes sure that they have everything that they're going to need, and then um, and sends them over to the passport desk to finish. Which is where process. is that? That is in the commons. That is the desk that, um, is, that's a circular desk in the commons, which is the area of the cafe. And, uh, right yeah. off of the large meeting room. Where they had the craft area? Yeah, the, the craft the, area was there. The the other day. Day. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so. It was a large cluster. Yeah. At any given time, there will be two people that are assigned to work passports, um, where one person is doing the passport and the other person is checking it, because it's really, really important that we're accurate on that. So, um, We'll see how it goes, but we'll keep reporting back. And we're very excited. Yeah. So our first twenty-five dollars. <laughs> well, how long did it take to process that passport? Did we figure that out? Well, we're right at the beginning of the learning curve, so it was probably about uh, thirty minutes. <coughs> uh, and it was one or two people helping, or is that how we do that? Well, one person actually does it, and then it's handed off for review. Uh, after review. Um, you know, we have a legal document which we forward to the uh, Department of State for processing. 
So do they come in with this application or do we present it to them and then they fill it out? Um, if you go on the website, uh, the library website, there's a link to the uh, electronic, it, it's a PDF, fillable PDF that they can use. Um, in the alternative, they can print it out and write on it. Or a uh, third option is to actually get the passport application at the library. We do have, I think, 500 of them or something like that from the State Department. Okay, so this particular person then could have brought it in completed, is that what you're saying? Well, what they're supposed to do is mm -hmm. have the application filled out. Uh, they need a photograph. They need uh, proof of identification. They need proof of citizenship. And then they need the fees. So they should walk in with the application filled. They should have their proof of uh, identification mm -hmm. and their proof of citizenship and their checkbook. If they have those things, um, then they can sit down at the passport desk and talk to uh, one of the agents to actually process the passport, mm -hmm. okay. check things out, and fill out the parts that we fill out, including sure. putting, uh, fixing our uh, facility number and the agent number to it, and then staple it all together and put it in the envelope. Well, do you think that many people would look on the, on the website and print it? I'm guessing they'll just come in and grab it from you and fill it out here, right? Uh, on a sample of one, 100% <laughs> of the time. No, I think that since there's a passport agency across the street, what are they accustomed to? That would be my thought. No, I'm, I'm not looking for a sarcastic answer. No, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I've got a sample of one, so I don't know. You know, well, um, I'm saying, you know, as we prepared for this, it may be a question we could have asked, but that's fine. I think what it sounds great. Does it make it's, it's their time. I mean, we don't fill it out for them. We're not allowed to fill out the form. No. Well, the difference is that people come in and fill out the application. Yeah. application. Yeah. It takes longer if they bring it in prepared. Then it doesn't take. It doesn't long. take any of our time. We just send them away with the application. Well, you know, we'll see if they don't have questions. If they know what they're doing, I'm just asking. Let's not get argumentative here. Thank you, though. I appreciate your explanation. Did you say more to the director's report? Mm -hmm. I, um, I just wanted to say that um, the staff very much appreciated the Thanksgiving uh, breakfast that you guys put together for them. They were really, really pleased, and that was partly why. I just want to make it clear that I bought cookies. The cookies not bought in taxpayer dollars, but it's a little bit of a thing. Thank you. Thank you. You, you are volunteers. Oh, you, we know you put in a lot of time. The and then not only... What's that? The taxpayers oh. do pay me that. <laughs> and then last but not least, I just wanted to send around the latest batch of cute little writings it's from the kids. Right. And what, what are these from? Uh, the writing center in the children's department. So some of them, some of them just you know draw and things like that. But some of them actually write little love notes to us, and they're very cute. So I thought you'd enjoy seeing them. And that is all I have. Okay. Um, I do want to yes. uh, compliment the uh, Sasha and the staff on Chapter One. Uh, okay. Newsletter, I think, your changes were yeah. uh, wonderful. Okay. Great. And, and thanks to that, I did remember, and I did come to the holiday thing, and uh, with the kids, yeah. I've got the uh, pictures from the green screen on here, plus the one that they gave us, if anybody wants to see, and the kids' crafts, or the picture frame. Oh, oh, you, you made those at the library here? Very cute. Hmm? You made those here? Yeah, the kids did. And they also signed up for the winter reading program. And this is what they get, and then they get it stamped for every event they participate in. So you did a lot of fun things. It was, it was a very pleasurable experience. And it was so crowded. I just wanted to let everybody know that our, um, what is it called, Adam? Cold Adam. Adam. Cold Adam works well because I had to use it. <laughs> yes. The kids are so familiar with the library, they took off in different directions, and the three-year-old is so small that with all the people there, I couldn't spot her. And I'm walking back and forth, calling her name, no response. So I went to the desk with my picture we had just taken and said, this is what she looks like. She's three years old, and this is her name. And they found her within a matter of minutes. 
So what exactly do you do? Do you broadcast? Code, code uh, Adam is they just somebody, say Code Adam. Yeah, Code Adam gets the, the person that it's reported to gets on the PA mm -hmm. and it says, attention staff, we have Code Adam, the child is three years old, wearing a purple sweatshirt, and everybody is instructed to stop what they're doing and <laughs> go look for that kid. Okay. See, you see a flood of people when it happens. We actually early. even send people up to the um, parking lot. Yeah, okay. And yeah. they, are, they yeah. don't leave until the coach is terrified. You know what? No. So just, just letting the, the board know it works. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much. Yes. Thank your staff. Who's, who's, it whose idea was that? Code Adam is a national program. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's a famous kid. What do they do at the University of well, what they did, they within a matter of like two minutes, they said, uh, she's over here. I'm like, yeah, there's this mother standing with her and said, yeah, I asked her where her mother was. And she said, I'm not with my mother, I'm with my grandma. I'm like, oh, okay. At least she, you know, had that straight. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, communications, we have those in our packet, thank you. Any liaison works, friends of the library? Um, I think they canceled the most recent meeting, didn't they? Well, they don't have one until January. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, legislation, nothing recent is there? No, well, we did hear the, that they, go ahead. Well, the net neutrality is the big issue for libraries right now, the idea that they might end up turning you know, people more, try to charge us more to get the intranet standards that are um, for everybody to be able to go on to all the same sites and it just could be a big um, problem for many people for many reasons but I do appreciate that those of you that contact me mm -hmm. there Congress yeah, people and they are you did, Dennis, yeah. I think. Okay. 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 Yeah. so thank you for doing that and I think uh, the FCC is not taking comments anymore but they're still thinking that if you talk to your Congress people that, that might make a difference too and I did receive responses oh, oh, no. <laughs> Well, thank you for your Rails, anything on that? No. Okay. Uh, under new business, um, we have a, or do I have a motion under new business to approve resolution 17-04, a resolution approving and adapting a revised anti-harassment and non-discrimination policy. So when I saw this, I, I thought, wait, we already have a policy. <laughs> Um, I thought, you know, I would. I thought, why are we doing this? We already have one, but I guess we have to reaffirm it somehow. Is uh, well, you have to pass a resolution or an ordinance confirming. It just raises it to a stronger level, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Well, do I have such a motion? Motion. Okay. Any discussion? This yeah, is this where is it? I'm on 46, right? Uh, this is, yeah, um, yeah, 46. Yeah, just, oh, it's behind it. Sorry, sorry, thank you. Well, yeah, I mean, that's where the um, um, recommendation is. But the policy itself begins on the next page. Mm -hmm. This is the same policy as the last year. Uh, it was slightly tweaked by Frank Mark and Jenkins when they wrote up the resolution, which unfortunately got left off of here, but... Like um, the old printing right now. Yeah. Um, the, the changes? The changes, no, the resolution. It's cool resolution. That's not really what it is. Um, yeah, so the, the changes that they made were very minor. There were uh, a couple things where um, our existing policy referred to... Um, it didn't... It didn't used the phrase Illinois Whistleblower Act and it spent sort of too much time on the if somebody fraudulently complained about harassment and they took those pieces out for the most part just put it as one line but it's basically the same policy all right so um, I noticed that we had in our packet a uh, new page for our policy, which relates to the unintended yes, children, right? Awesome. So it's got yeah. no holes in it. So will you, next month, maybe you should know that it's out here, but if you would make yes. a note, so we could have a new copy yes. of the slightly amended harassment policy to put in our binder, that would be good too. Um, all right, so I was, I was asking if there's any comments on the um, Recommended action and the new anti-harassment policy. 
questions. Um, can we go ahead and vote on this? I think mm -hmm. Diane is coming back with a copy of what? The, the resolution to be signed. Okay. All right, but we don't actually need it no. to put up. So uh, I just Chris. have a gen. I just have a general question. So there aren't any new state laws for additional types of harassment that no, it, we all of the to add, all right? of the types were exactly the same. Okay then. All right. I just didn't know for a fact. All right. Okay. It's just cleaning it up then. Uh, uh, they there were a couple of things where Kleinthorpe didn't approve of our wording, so they changed it. Yeah. All right. Um, since Diane's out of the room, would you do a, a roll call? Certainly, Karen. Uh, yes. Carolyn? Yes. Dennis? Yep. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Okay, thank you. So we'll go on now to unfinished business, a uh, discussion of the budgeting process. Um, Carolyn, at our last meeting you mentioned you were going to bring us some samples from other uh, government bodies and how they do their budgeting. Uh, did you happen to bring any for us? Actually, um, I, after the meeting, I was giving it some thought, and I'm concerned, and I sort of share the same um, concern that um, Tim mentioned in an email. Um, my, I, I just wanted to make clear, I'm not trying to change some computerized process that we have. Um, I am familiar with the different databases, software programs to do this, but that wasn't my goal for, for us. What I'm trying to introduce is a process by which we would um, create um, a form that would be filled out by the departments that would, uh, which I believe Susan and Greg call their operating budget. And that information is usually what's used to create the budget. Now, I rather than have me recreate one from scratch, I thought we could review what they are already submitting and see um, what we may want to add to that, tweak to that, and what kind of process we would like in place. My issue with our budget is we have a spreadsheet of line items. There is one total. And as we go through the budget, we look at a line item, a number. We have no idea what it represents. We don't understand how each department fared last year based on what they're all about, so we could even tweak numbers because we lack that information. Budgets from other governmental agencies all begin with a process where the departments identify how they fared last year and what their new goals or what they'd like to purchase for the upcoming year. But we have nothing from them to understand what they're doing now. Okay, so Carolyn, I thought you were going to bring in some samples from other government bodies okay, that not have like the forms that you're talking about or their process. Okay, and like, I said, and like I said, the governmental bodies use databases, which I doubt we have, and that wasn't my, my plan is not to change whatever Greg has to enter these numbers. My plan is to say we need more information that is identifying these figures before we decide this is our final budget. Usually, um, it's not odd that a department would present an operating budget. Greg, for example, what is the purpose of the operating budget well, that well, you receive? Let, let me ask you, uh, just to follow up with my question, which I don't think I'm going to answer yet. So you're, you're not going to bring us any samples, is, is that right? Okay, I'm not bringing you. Hey, you know, I have samples of a, of a form of information that I think we should receive from each department. Rather than initiate a new form, I asked Susan to just bring us one or two of our current operating budget forms she received last year. And then we can compare that to what I feel is valuable information. Well, why don't you provide us with that, that form you say uh, that you Because have. it's irrelevant if I can't have dialogue with her. Well, okay, let, let me explain something to you. I am not thrilled about spending a great deal of time coming up with a process and getting no input from our current administration because that's a waste of time. So I think as adults we can have some dialogue here. And I understand that most of you have never created a budget, so you look at me like I'm speaking yeah, great. You have that knowledge. So, so, I, I can so tell. Bringing it, back to, bringing it back to the basics, she doesn't have an example. Okay. I, I believe 
there was some communication sent to uh, Susan to, to ask for a couple of pieces. And I think that's where we're at. I think we, we need to, to stay away from uh, the additional uh, stuff. Uh, you know, I, I see where she's asking, what, why should I bring in something? I, I don't want to change your process. I don't want to change your process. I just want to see what you're doing. Okay, Linda has her hand up. I just have, um, I'm, I'm not, I just, I guess I need a little clarity because as, as I'm looking at the, um, our, even our statistical report, um, like it tells what the adults' um, services are buying in print, periodicals, audio, DVD for the current month. And it shows how they're breaking down their monies and how they're purchasing their line item. It also for the teens, it tells what they're buying in print, periodical, audio, DVD. It shows exactly how much they spent this month and what they spent year to date. Then we also know they have their programming line item. So we see basically what they're spending, plus we have the criteria that breaks it down even more once we get into the actual vendors. So I'm not exactly sure what, what else. Right there? Um, this is 38. Okay. So I'm, I guess I'm not sure of what more of a breakdown you're mm -hmm. looking for. I'm asking for a projected budget from each of these departments, okay. which Greg already received. I, I work. Mm -hmm. At a school, yes. I'm a district librarian, and uh -huh. I do not have to give in. We have our set budget, and mm -hmm. we work according to that budget. I don't have to give them anything. Somebody sets and your I'm budget. And I'm a cover. Right. Somebody sets your budget, and right. it's not you. The business I'm, manager. Okay. And I worked at right. a school, and I set all those budgets, but every department submitted to me their budget line by line with what they wanted. They had, a, they had to identify them by level. They were all reviewed, and after so many different sessions, it was determined what would actually be implemented in the new budget. So you're not part of the budget process. And I'm trying to say, your money, though, is based on information you have obviously given someone. And that what we've spent and that we've justified why we needed that budget, so there was no question. On, we didn't I'm just justify talking about anything. Anything. We justify it by what we've spent. That's right? not we justifying anything. Would you please let me talk? I mean, yeah, I want to hear what she has to say. And 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 it, it. No, and, and I mean, and that's fine. And but I'm just saying, I just don't understand. I guess what else we're looking for besides what they're buying the materials and they're spending money on the program. We already know the programming because it also tells us what programming they've done with the attendance, etc. So I'm just not sure. So can you explain the justification for just one of those line items? For what? The Pick adult? Any. For Pick the adult services. And, and what, what, what did adult services purchase? So they bought $19,000 of, of print. Print they what? Books. For what purpose? For what department? For their department. For one department? For one department. And we decided that we needed 19,000 books and they were used and now we're going to buy 19,000 more. How do you evaluate what you purchase, what you buy? Through journals. What do you mean through journals? And through your community and what they're the needs of okay, based so, on the serve. So that's how you want nineteen thousand dollars worth of books, but where did you determine when the year ended what the usage was for those books and where do we stand for next year? We're fine, we're 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 under uh, we need more. So where's the information that's it, generated? How is a board would be that's what we hire the librarian. Okay, now, as a board, board, you should get a binder twice this size, and every department in this library would provide their goals and, and their um, outcomes for last year and their recommendations for their budgets for this year, which are reviewed by, the, they're, they're created by their supervisor, and I would guess Greg would be our, our CFO here. He's the business manager. He would meet with them and determine what's going to be added, what won't be, and they'll review all their processes. These programs you talk about, there's a lot involved in a program. How do we ascertain or justify what we spent and what the outcome was? There has to be a report that's submitted. And this is how your departments prepare. And when you look at this line item, instead of seeing, and maybe books isn't the, the best line item, but when you see a program for 20 grand, there must be 20 
programs in there. You need to know what it represents. Well, Carolyn, now you, you had mentioned before you're going to bring some samples. Is there a possibility you can bring a sample from another government body around here? Okay, and, shows and I will tell you again, it's uh, a database which you don't have uh, the capability for. Well, all right. So I would like to create a form. You've seen these binders before. Can you can you bring one in? Can no. we see it? Can no. we see what it is that you're talking about? No. Because you keep saying that, that this is what should happen, and I don't think boy, the rest of us would like to see what you're talking about. And you, you know what? I think I think we need to get and, and some dialogue keep, from them. Well, I want to see what it is that you're talking about. What's I want to know what this doing? library is doing before I even. And there's no need for me to bring in something if he's already following that. Can I just say something? Yes. I know you don't agree with this book, but mm -hmm. on page six, one of the duties of the trustees, for example, the board of trustees can draft an annual budget for the library, but specific input about what monies are needed for which purposes comes mainly from the director. As a trained professional, he or she is employed to access needs as, as acquisitions, staff coverage, and public services. That's why we hired mm -hmm. her. And Susan is the director, and according to the Illinois state statutes, which you are bound by, it says that so it's she, where. So it's where. in the Illinois state so statute where for in district Illinois block, I've repeated it a hundred times to you guys. Bound, I don't think what? so, because I want to read exactly what it Illinois is. Illinois states, just look it up on your phone. Look up Illinois state statutes for libraries. It'll it, tell it, you all the of them. The code is pretty big. No, I'm not for the library. Like the There's like eight of them. There's only eight. No, and it okay. says no, what no. our duties are and what hers is. And she is to manage this library, and she is to come to our, to the, she brings everything to the board for approval. I mean, not every library everybody. knows it. Not everybody. Yeah, well, maybe not, not here, but all spending. I've read it to you guys year after year. You do get all of the spending. Right? Okay, we don't get any breakdowns, and that's all I'm asking. You get, we get an entire breakdown month. every month. A month on this budget? But but where's our breakdown? The budget is informed, I assume, when you guys sit down with the budget that it is based on your understanding of all the expenditures that have been taking place over the past year. If I thought I needed to start with explaining everything piece by piece, I could certainly do that. And in fact, I did try to make the binder have a lot of background information because I knew we had some new trustees. But you have seen the expenditures for 12 months. You have access to the, the box that's got all of the receipts in it and the checks. You have access to all of this information. And you always have the ability to ask questions on an ongoing basis. Okay, Susan, to so, dig through a box. Or to read it's a spreadsheet. Or no, you don't understand. None of that tells me what the cost was to run this program or that program. We've got our new, um, we've got our new brochure. I, I used to think this was broken down by department. I don't have a clue. Where can I go in all this information you claim we have to find out how these programs are doing? How do you justify these what do you programs? Mean how the programs are doing. We we have information about attendance. No, you, attendance. They have, it, attendance doesn't cost me money. If unless you have to hire people, what does it cost to put on these programs? What does this particular program represent? Was it successful last year? Are we repeating it next year? Where is this information? It should be in your department operating budgets because each department is responsible for their own programs. But what you did mention to me once before is, you don't do it like that. You just buy a bunch of stuff and everybody takes from it. You can't I don't do think that's that. what she said. Well, I, Believe I, I, me. I, I, and also at another meeting, when we talked about how to plan a budget, what is your process? She says, well, I know if my budget line is 50000 I'm going to spend more next year. And she increases it to sixty. It was at a friend's library meeting. Now, I so I like say all these little statements. Okay, so what I was saying no is, verification. oh please, I wouldn't make it up. I have better things to do. But right, what I'm so saying is, that's why I'm asking for justification in, in writing. So, 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 it, if I could ask a question, so you're looking for uh, how, how many departments do we have in the library, roughly? 10, 15, 9. So, so if you have nine departments, I would say, uh, and we, we'll, we'll use round numbers. So we, we, we say we got nine departments, we got 10,000 for each department. So I think what she's looking to see is here's this department number one, here's my 10,000, 
for this department. This is what's going in. Uh, I know that she's running a great program for uh, uh, changing over the, uh, the process for, for books. And so that fits in this department. So your budget for uh, this section number one is $10,000. And in that $10,000 is the time being spent for her efforts plus anything else that falls in that specific area. So I think what she's looking for is a, is a is kind of a roll-up. So here's department one, two, three, four, five. Here's the things that fall in this department. Here's my budget for this department. What is the budget? At the beginning of the year, you put in, you say, hey, this is what we're going to need for department number one. This is what we're going to need for department number two. And, and so uh, I, I I think that's what you're looking for. But Absolutely, I don't know. and that's detailed. So currently, what are we doing? I want to know if uh, other government bodies around us are doing that. As the Every government body. Does. Well, no, I'm, I'm not asking you, Carolyn. I'm asking. Sue. Libraries are generally, um, you know, they they have an overall mission. All of the departments at the library contribute in their own way. Dave's maintenance budget, say, would look very different from a public service Absolutely. budget. Absolutely. They have all, and yeah. all of the things that Dave needs to run his department are things that he has discussed with Greg. Right. Greg puts together a figure for he, what he thinks the maintenance department is going to need right. based on things that are going to need to be replaced and things like that. It, and, and you see all of those purchases over the course of the year. But, um, but there should be some type of a, a report saying, yeah, here's, here's our... Us. Here's our report. Well, for but I don't like him make Dave write up a maintenance report to go to the board because you hired me to run the library. No, he should And that it. is how different libraries work, is because the departments in many ways are can be reorganized. Different libraries have organized their libraries in very different sure. ways. They, yeah. they some of them That's have right. dissolved the ones that are age-based and they have a program department and they have a community engagement department and they have centralized selection and they have changed up the way that they have done things because basically the libraries all have a similar mission and they kind of divide it up in different ways. And it makes sense because right. each library is going to have its own little budget. But again, to the point of there are X number of departments, we're using nine. Uh, he, he says that, hey, you know what, Susan, I'm, I'm going to need and this year, I'm going to need to do this, this, this. Some of the stuff is just repetition. Annually, you know, this is what we do. Oh, by the way, I'm going to throw this in there for this year. I'm going to throw this in there. And boom, I've got my, my budget for his department. But I guess I just don't think of it as a departmental thing. I think of the library is going to need electricity for the coming year. I don't think that's... Dave's department doing that. I think it's like that's what we need to run. Yeah, well, and maybe and it's not. Maybe that's understand. not included. I see. I don't want to tell you, and, and, and I'm I'm kind of taking over the discussion here, but I don't I don't want to tell you how to do it. I think what Carolyn's looking for is some transparency, <laughs> because with if if by chance somebody was to come to you and ask you to cut five percent from your budget, how would you do it? Would, would, would you go to, you know, would, would you look at each department and say, where can I cut? It would not be on a departmental right. basis. It, it would be on the be. entire library. What it doesn't does, necessarily have to be. It, you can it be so, on so, a it library. It would be the number of hours the library is open. It would be something like that. That's it not a departmental thing. Each department is, comprises your budget. Are you telling me that you have operating budgets that were submitted to you, and I, they I, don't I, tell you what the budget is? I the, don't. You I, I have... A really odd idea of what our process was. We did not have a form that they all filled out and submitted to okay. Greg, and Greg made a lot Greg of decisions. Greg said, and I'm sure the answer. So, yeah. you know, to be quite honest with you, and here is how it is gone. You know, I've been director now for two years. Mm -hmm. When I started, there was no process in place for how the budget was done, other than just looking at the line items. Yeah. Uh, having a conversation with a supervisor, I would say be talking with Lynn Weiss, the director, and I would say, uh, I think I need the program budget is going to pretty much be the same this coming year, but we might want to do this program or we're going to raise it. So one of the things that Greg and I set out to do is to try to formalize that process a little bit. And so we asked people to 
think ahead about what the needs of their departments were going to be and to tell us about it in yeah. some way. Okay. So they've done it in a variety of different ways. But one thing I absolutely promised them is that they were for our eyes only. That that, that so that they could be frank about what they were thinking. It's, it's, they, they could express thoughts, and some of it was verbal, and some of it was written, and it's different for all of the different ones, but I told them that under FOIA, preliminary documents that are opinion are not FOIAble, which is why you keep requesting sure. it, and I keep budget telling can't you be an no. opinion. Yeah, a budget is not an opinion. opinion. Was that, but that those, whatever information we got from the supervisors, that is, I'm trying to formalize that, but I have to say, every time you then say, well, I'm going to stick my nose in that, and I'm not going to agree that you as the director are making this decision, because I, as a board member, am going to make that decision, then you make me want to tell my supervisors, do not put anything in writing, don't tell anything that could then the be wrong, misinterpreted. You the wrong attitude. This no, is not no, so I like the way you explained no. it. I, I like oh, the way you explained it. You All right, said. Dennis, I'd like a chance to talk too. I know you've been talking back and forth, but I'd really like to talk too, and I haven't really done much during this segment. It really is our administrator's job to prepare the budget. And there's no requirement in the law or anywhere else that requires each individual department to come up with a written budget. Well, then, well, well, we, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. That requires each individual department to come up with a written budget ahead of time to present oh to the director. They can describe verbally what it is that they need. They can informally discuss this with her. But there is no requirement that each individual department, or for that matter wow. that we have specific departments, come up with a written document ahead of time for to give to wow. Ms. Lemke regarding what the budget should be. There is no what written requirement think, right? that okay. any budget that the school district, He's not individual departments must do that. We do come up with a finalized budget, certainly based on the information that has been collected by Ms. Lemke. And Put, to, put together the budget that we actually pass. But if she chooses to do it this way, that is discussing with her staff members what is needed for each type of expenditure in the coming year, rather than making them draw up a formal document, that can be done. If she does require her staff to do that, that's going to consume more time, oh, it more take a lot of time. More, uh, yes it will. Why more. is it so difficult for you guys? Don't worry about it, Carol. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have people look at it more uh, time spent doing, uh, just preparing to do the budget, whereas there's no prohibition against doing the way it has been done. Um, so if the board as a whole wants to require the staff to engage in more work in preparing, no, we written, don't five to two. preparing more written documents ahead of time, that is something that the board can discuss. But I don't know that the entire board wants to require uh, additional work out of the staff to prepare written documents ahead of time. Ms. Lemke is correct. Could that be the motion? When, when she says that um, uh, preliminary documents uh, are not subject to FOIA. And uh, certainly we do want the staff to be uh, honest and, dis and uh, forthright when their discussions regarding what they need for the coming year. And if uh, the library staff, or if our library director in particular, has decided that this works, there's nothing that prohibits the library from doing it that, the way it has been done. Um, May I? Yes. The, one other thing is just that I was going in the direction of trying to formalize the process. But all of this, but it was always only intended for Greg and me as working documents. There was never a point where any of this would have been submitted to the board because it frankly would not be appropriate because these are my decisions. Because if one of them, let's say I have a new supervisor and they don't quite have a grip on things and they say, I'm going to need 10,000 staff members next year and we go, no, you cannot have 10,000 staff members. That's okay. Uh, it's not okay for you to see that. It's actually not okay for no, you to see that. No, but you wouldn't have an agreement on the final bucket. That is what you are asking for. No. You see, you guys don't understand yes. how to go about a budget process. This is so frustrating. Uh, it's re You really think this is a battle, and it's like, who's going to hang with it first? Yes, I am yes. amazed. So, 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 so Carolyn, I think Susan's trying to move well, in the wait, right Well, wait, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis her hand yeah, up. She really hasn't had a chance to talk. I'm not trying to criticize either yeah. of you. I'm trying to ask you guys, please. 
If you have a general idea of a form, that no. you said you had, excuse me, let me finish. You said you had an idea of things, questions you would like answered. Why don't you present that? No. I don't know why you she can do that. No. no I'm why you answer it? Because to do well, the library, well, however you want it, the director and the business you want. manager then won the library. We are trustees. Why don't you come in with suggestions? Okay. You keep saying you want this, but you refuse to present anything. Because I'm not here to tell Susan how to do things. She runs the library. She should be able to produce a budget. And if she, she says she's moving in that direction, let's have her move in that direction. But I think we should we should be having other people uh, more knowledgeable than myself look into how the library should be doing the budget. Well, okay, we, we do because I, I think I think I think I trust me. I think. People should have those discussions. I think you, if you have a, 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 a novice as a supervisor, you have those discussions. You you come together at the beginning and you say, okay, well, let's let's do our budget. Here's here's my budget, and and she says, well, let's do this, or he says, let's do this, and you say, no, I you know I, I think let's go back and tweak that. There you go, and I think that's perfectly acceptable to be doing. And you in, but you finalize that budget for that department. You finalize that budget for that department. And, and as, a, as a whole, you roll all of that up and you say, Greg, here you go. This is what we're going to need for this coming year. Okay, can I jump in? Susan, my request wasn't to look at personal documentation with comments or whatever. When you said it wasn't polished, I just thought it wasn't in all the same format, which didn't matter to me. But the truth of the matter is you meet with all your department heads and then you finalize what is called their, their operating budget, and you submit it as backup when we review the budget. You're the one who's going to finalize it. I just want something that identifies each budget. And Greg, I am amazed. I believe you were hired as a business manager, and I thought it also included a lot of accounting and finance instead of just investments. And I would feel that you might have something to offer here, because this conversation is going awry. Well then, why don't we bring this conversation to an end then. Um, I think we have discussed this for a period of time. I don't know that there's anything else that uh, uh, can be said here. Obviously we have some disagreements at the table here. Um, and uh, I, I don't know that there's anything else that can be said during this discussion that hasn't already been said this evening. So the, what's so, the decision on creating a process? Um, I, it, we're, it's, we're I just need we to have, hear where we are. We're continuing on as we have before. I have no motion on the table, so we're continuing to do uh, the budget as we have in the past. I, I have no other motion. There is nothing else before us right now, so we're continuing on. Can I make a motion? You can always make a motion. Okay, I would like to motion. But I, I will say, um, well, I'm just wondering under the Open Meeting Act whether you can actually... Because it was a discussion? Uh, yeah. It's listed as discussion. Uh, okay. You, know, you can list it uh, for next month if you want to make some kind of motion. Sure. Do you want to, what's, what's the, do you want to name the motion that you want to put on the agenda next month? Um, so just so we can describe it for a budget the uh, 2018-19 budget process. And I think that's sort of vague. Oh no, it's real simple. It's a process. We don't have one. I just want to implement one. Wait, wait, to clarify that. We don't have a budget process. Well, Right, we don't. That's what Carol saying. We do have a budget process. She wants it to It's not your process, but we have a budget process. No, we have no process. There is no information given us. She, 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 has, she has a process. Whether it's the right process or she's working towards it, she has a process. She should be able to present that at some point. Okay, so then that would be, that would be it. Do you want to list it as proposed change in... No, I think it's budget a, process. I think I it's um, the proposal. I, I, I mean, she was just very clear on what her budget process was, and it, you, it, it was what you were stating. Okay, I think what we process. Yeah, right, but and she mirrored. But, but we, we can't see anything. Well, right. You you see the results of 
what we have worked on with the, with the department heads. And if you look at the binder, you'll see that there is a good deal of information about what's going on in the departments and what their needs are. But at this time, I don't think it would be productive to divide the budget up by department. I don't think that would be very useful. We're not in the village. We don't have a police department, a fire department, a public works department. I have so, so, I mean, what do you want her to do? Divide up the electricity bill between men and No, you know, see, and you know what's scares me is that I'm actually having this uses. conversation. This is frightening. That well, this is how no. you look at a budget. But, but that's what you're saying. You're no. saying it has to be divided up by department. and that Exactly. Really every, every department around here functions differently. The only thing that's consistent would be salaries and benefits. But they still have programs. They still have purchases, whether it's supplies, food, whatever. It's all standard. You guys make this so complicated. Well, I, 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 and you I know what? All of these departments, out. when they submit their operating budgets, their proposals, for next year, together total our total budget. But we can at least, when she submits backup or whatever you want to call it, their operational budgets, we can say, wow, this is what takes place in Susie's department and it costs $500,000 or it costs $100,000. Why can't we know that? And, and, and a lot of times, sometimes things shift. You know, it's just like, oh, well, this, we ended up having to spend more here. So, so things are going to shift. I mean, you budget, but doesn't mean that everything is going to fall directly in line. But and Susan, based on the box of checks and the information that we do have at our disposal, <coughs> we do not have an organized process in place at all. And I would but, like to introduce one. Well, I, I completely disagree. Okay, okay. Tim, yes, you have to So. <laughs> So uh, let's say we've got this uh, by department breakdown of costs, right? That's kind of what mm -hmm. their, and their, their, their costs for the year and their proposed uh, budget for the next year by department. And, and believe me, I, I am not against that. And I, I, I do resent this five to two things you guys keep saying that. Mm -hmm. I'll go together a lot. Yeah, a lot of it was a bad thing. You know, yeah, but um, but my, let me finish. My so, so, okay. So let's say we have nine departments, and then budget time comes around, and each department gives uh, a budget for their department broken down by, I assume, personnel, programming, uh, other items that they whatever. need, whatever they need to purchase, mm -hmm. right? What are we going to do? Are we going right. to say, what is the point yes, of it? yes, we agree to that, or are we going to say, no, we don't agree to that by department? No, for example... The programming, what we'll see is what a particular program involved and what the outcome was. Was it successful? No. Then based what, on what her... success? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for example, there weren't enough attendees. Maybe it's something we don't want to do next year. But you cannot approve a budget without knowing anything. I know. And, 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 really, and, and you know what? Like, there are problems. Let me ask. But, but let me... And I, really, I kind of want to go through this process. So we have... How many programs are put on a year? Fifty. A lot. Hundred. No, it's um. I forget what the number like was in Gettysburg last year. It was. Yeah. Was it like fifty a week? Yeah. By department. Yeah. By department. Yeah. What would it be? Fifty a week. Yeah. It's a lot. Well, I know the children's department does. Right. have a lot. So fifty a week. So that's. Uh, Twenty-five hundred programs. That's a week. Oh yeah. So that's a ton of let's say they give us a list of twenty-five hundred programs for a cost for each program. And attendance. Realistically, what are we going to do? Are we going to go through each one and say this was no? Let me finish. Yeah. This was successful because fifty people showed up, or it was not successful because only twenty people showed up. But then we'd have to discuss each program and say, well, maybe this was a how to read the tablet, and only ten people are interested. So then it was successful. How, how are we going to? Okay. How are we going to? And it's not really us deciding, it's this information being available to Susan, who will already have made those decisions. But we, when we're going through the budget, have stuff to look at. So we can say, oh, I see why she's not, she's not interested in this. Or, I see, or what if only 10 people came for those tablets? And we spent 10 grand, maybe we want to buy different tablets. But I'm saying we have no knowledge, no information. We're not going to stop the library from surviving 
or, or continuing, we just have no clue what we're doing. So, so essentially what you're looking for is by department, and, and I mean really what are the costs by department? There's personnel, and there's activities, and there's materials. I mean, electricity is. is well, that's, that's not, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, what else is there? Is I mean, you know. But building. Right, building. So we, 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 we subtract building, air conditioning, heating, yeah. lighting. Yes. That's not and Greg can easily yeah, put that into the department. So, so really, there's there's a limited number of costs for each department. And they, but they already are divided up. The program is divided up by department, and sure. the. Uh, Materials are divided up by department, and almost everything else. And you already see the um, the staff. You, you have the org chart. You know how many people are no, in each department. No, we need it all and concisely in a, a department in a, in a department's operating budget. Their org charts attached to the back of it. And well, this is what you would like to see. Well, these yes. are what other right. agencies do, but I mean, well, I don't know. But it is not what any of the other libraries do. In fact, I. I was talking to the director at Skokie, and he basically, the board gets a list of the 33 line items in the budget. He doesn't even break out the departments, uh, the, the spending for programming or materials. It's all just in buckets, and that's because they know that he's an extremely competent person. He hires competent staff. They manage their departments. They judge whether the program has been successful or not, and they make a decision on whether they should fund it again, and if... And they might discuss that with me, or they might not. But they are keeping a constant watch on that. Nobody wants to be wasting money but or time, has, especially. See, that's my that's my confusion and concern mm -hmm. that we get this information. Mm -hmm. We're going to be micromanaging Susan and Susan's decision on each individual one. I, I really don't want to be spending. We're not micromanaging. Much, well, no, let me finish. I'm, 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 let me finish. I don't really want to be spending hour upon hour upon hour many. Uh, budget meetings mm -hmm. going through each program of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of programs and deciding in each program, oh yeah, and I decide it's worth it, and then we come to a consensus. Not, we I don't mean that. I mean, it's going to take, it'll take, no, and I don't it'll be mean a nightmare. That. But all of these programs, when they end, that report should be done. Okay? But, and, and, and it's not, but these okay. are things we should do. But what is wrong in this library, just based on the information you have given me, based on the information I see, conversations we have about projects they're working on, we do not have records of anything. We just fly by the seat of our hands. That's really unfair. No, it's not, and I'll, and I'll give you an example. It's the signage really project proposal was a nightmare. Oh, and please the stop. The board say, there are many, many issues, and we don't expect any details about anything. I think we should expect some so, tor some sort of formalized reporting. She's in the Susan's in the process of doing something. Okay, so what will we, what will we have by the time we review this budget? Well, don't I mean we know what we're, they're spending on We've approved. No, what I'm saying. Oh no, that whole process was a nightmare. We had somebody in there. We got one bid. Well, the person they, they who wrote can't the, control. Oh, what I'm we're, saying we're, is, we're off track on that. What so I'm that's saying that's is, well, these are issues. Yeah, that, that was a problem. That should have been brought to our attention way in advance. Okay, so what I'm saying is, no, we don't have procedures in place. And we do sit here and we get the end product. When it comes to the budget, we need a lot more information. Well, and, and you keep saying that globally. What we're looking for is the exact information you want. Really, and, and, and I'm, not sure, right. I'm not being sure, creative. Yeah. I okay. really want to know. Why don't you ask, Greg, what have they been submitting for an operating budget? I want to know and what you want to see. Right, because, because we as a board I have to decide. I want to see an operating budget. Right, we, I want to know this what you want, too, budget. because if, even if they were to come up with something, I'm concerned you'd not be happy with well, that. Well, how about if I had some so dialogue what? with Greg? It would take 15 but, minutes. Instead of us why don't hanging you do each that? other here. Why don't you? Because he is out of the conversation because he's an employee and he's smart. We're all arguing amongst okay. ourselves. And he's the and man with all the info. Call Greg and talk to him. Don't be smart. Uh, I so. don't think there's anything uh, wrong with that. No, I would love right. to meet with him. No, no, why don't you make an appointment with here? What if you could do it in 15 minutes? Let's hear it. But. Because you know what? You all think everything is a conversation. You don't think it has anything with looking at a report. Discussing, you know, you all just want to have a verbal conversation, walk out of the room, and you're done. There's a little more to it than just that. Yeah, you know. Well, okay. per perhaps, perhaps we should have a discussion to, to pull together a straw man of what, what we're looking to see. 
you know, sort of a, 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 a basis. And then, and then, and then it can be tweaked based off of that story. Right. And that's why I thought last November was. That's, it, it, that's what I thought we were going to get. Remember when right. he said okay, he needed so it? I came up with what I thought a department would submit. I did not bring copies of the other governmental agencies' databases. Because we're certainly not going to buy new software for the suggestions but I But this is you. a start, Carolyn. Okay, so this is why I came up with this. That's a start. And this is what I consider what identify a department. Now, these departments are all different. And what I claim is happening in one department may not be happening at all. But there are the same fixed costs. Yeah. Well, 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 hey, are you, you going to share that with us? But, yeah, Susan, I mean, Susan sometimes. Should, Susan Thank should you. be able, as, as, as the director of the library, to be able to pull together a strong meeting of what she's looking to go forward with. We don't necessarily want to tell Susan. Yeah, but at well, least. Yes, but we need to know what we want to look at. At least Carolyn is giving us a start. Of right some place to look. So we'll we'll look at. I mean, I don't know that we'll agree that this is what we all want to see. But it's a start. But it's something to look at. And we all said at November meeting we are willing to look at whatever she brings. And we we were asking her to bring ideas for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we Thank need you, to, to look at. Um, Carolyn, do you want to have on the agenda a uh, proposed change in the budget process for next month? I'd like to meet with Greg before the next board meeting. Okay, I won't. All right, fine. We won't put it on then. And then Definitely after your discussion with Greg, you can let us know at the next meeting what you want to do with the budget. Okay. Doug. Well, all right. You know, I, I don't know that I, I, I'm a little uncomfortable with that. I, I don't know that Greg wants to be in the position of, you know, being grilled all by himself. Here, I don't right. want to grill him. I want to understand your process. Yeah, yeah, what what do you think is the mind? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. And whatever. And, 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 and you're just building like a start of a straw man. Just going down the path that you were already starting. I think I don't know a straw man. Uh, you know, so uh, in, in doing a project, you, you you pull together and you say, well, uh, let's let's do this, and we'll do it on this date, and we'll have this many people. Oh, so you just started at, at a very high level. Yeah, and, and it's a proposal. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing, it still right. so, needs to be a board decision. Right. So whatever the right. discussion is, mm -hmm. it, it can be a discussion, but there can't be any decisions made because it right. has to be all of us wanting the same decision. Oh, no. I'm just so trying I'm just, to. I just want to make that I clear. I agree. And I'm, not trying, I'm looking for a decision. I'm looking for a conversation with him when he says, Carolyn, this is not possible, but this is possible, or whatever. That's all. And then, I'll, and then we'll, however we vote, we vote. Do you mind if I'm in that meeting yeah, as the treasurer? Of course. Yeah, it'll probably be more at ease if you're there. Oh, my. I thought you said 40s. Who's the 40s? Oh, can we just do it, Carolyn and Tim? You have such a... But here's okay. the problem. He works days. Well, we'll, we'll figure out. Okay. All right. Um, so I think we've discussed that. And now I think the next thing on our agenda is um, the need for an executive session. So um, we do have to take um, uh, final action on our executive session uh, minutes. So um, may I have a motion? to go into executive session Motion. for the purpose of discussing the minutes of closed session meetings. Okay. Motion. Let's go. Okay. All right. We've got a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Okay. All right. To approve and release the executive session minutes of April 19th, 2017. Do I have such a motion? So motion. Okay. Second. Second? Carolyn. Carolyn. Okay. Thank you. Uh, right. Who's doing this? I'm sorry. I was looking for my sheet. Okay. What sheet? Check it for one second. So she checks out the boxes. Where is it? Susan, you had that for a while, didn't you? Oh, I'll just... Are we? Yeah. Is it 
still show up here somewhere. Right. Okay, so which All ones right. are really good? So we just them? had a motion made by Patty, second by Carolyn. And um, what we need now is a roll call. Okay, uh, so that's yeah. Karen? Yes. Because this is uh, uh, who's next? Carolyn. Carolyn? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then she yes. Diane Olson. Yes. Katie Rosansky. Yes. Uh Tim Spadoni. Yes. That's it. Okay, that passes. Um, that is the only uh, additional business that we have. Oh, and Linda Ryan. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Um, so I now need a motion to adjourn. Motion. Beaches. <laughs> so are we going to vote? Can I just ask the second one? Was it any minutes or anything? Was it any minutes? That's what we just did. Did we do it? I thought you did a roll call. We have to do a roll call. No, 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 no. We did that. We approved the release. Did we have okay. a yeah. Yes. Excuse me, I have a question. Do we not have to have a vote on not releasing or are we just no, leaving? No, I think uh, okay. All right. this is there was yeah. no action. I think it just stays as a okay. nice bag. Okay. okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, motion to adjourn? Yes. So motion. Just okay. Second. 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 Okay, and Carolyn. All right. All in favor of adjourning, we keep by saying aye. 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 Okay, all right.